It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's Weekly Torah Lesson, a place where life's most difficult questions are answered. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah Lesson. This week's Torah portion is Pasha Shlach. The question of the week is, are we supposed to rely totally, 100% on God? So in this week's Torah portion, Pasha Shlach, we learn about after God promised the Jewish people that he was going to give them the land of Israel, and he promised them they'll be successful in conquering it, Moshe Rabbeinu, with the permission of God, sends spies to the land of Israel to scout out the land. And the question is asked, if God promised that the Jewish people were going to receive the land of Israel and they'll be successful in conquering it, why does Moshe Rabbeinu have to send spies to figure out how to conquer the land? So from here we see the Rebbe explains that even though God, yes, gives us blessings and he told Moshe Rabbeinu that he was going to be successful in conquering the land and, how, and he should not worry, but nevertheless, when it comes to conquering, you can't just walk in without being prepared. You have to do strategic planning, figure out how to go in, where to be more successful, and so on and so forth. So in other words, true God gives us the blessing. And the only reason why we're successful is because God gives us the blessing. But God wants us to use our talent and ability which remind, reminds me of a famous story with the Alta Rebbe, the first Chabad Rebbe, when he was in Russia and he was in prison for teaching Torah and mysticism. So he was once traveling from prison to a office to a meeting. And he was taken on a boat um, in St. Petersburg from the prison to the office. There is water and he was taken on a boat. When he was taken on the boat, it happened to be that night, there was an opportunity to do Kiddush Levana, to sanctify the moon. So he asked the driver, please stop the boat, I want to make the blessing and he wants to concentrate. The driver refused. Sure enough, right after that, the boat stopped. It stopped, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, and then a couple of minutes later, it started to go again. Then the, the altar, he went over to the captain again and said, please, can you stop the boat so I can do the blessing? He realized that the altar is the one that stopped it before, so he decided rather than to him to stop it against his will, so he stopped the boat and the altar Rebbe went ahead and did the prayers. So the Rebbe asked the question, if the altar he stopped the boat the first time, he could have stopped it and done the prayers. Why did he do it, let the boat go again, and then ask the captain to stop it? And the Rebbe explains, here you see again the most powerful insight. That even though, yes, holy people have holy powers, and they can do things without the help of human beings, but God really wants us to work with people and to work within nature. So to answer the question, are we supposed to rely totally 100% on God? And the answer is true, God runs the world and everything we have is from God. But God wants us to do our part as well. This week's Torah lesson is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib and Shlomo ben Yosef. May their souls be elevated by the Torah we're studying in their memory. I'd like to wish a special mazel tov to our daughter Zeldi on her engagement to Nachmi Rosenberg. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. For additional classes at Chabad or any other information, please see our website.